Hey guys, Trent Games here, and welcome back to Elver Part 5. So, la in the last episode, we explored the dead zone and got some okay loot, I would say. Nothing too, too special. Uh, probably because we didn't have the key cards, so I would say that is what we plan to do, is to find all it's to find all the key cards now before we do that uh, we want I want to sell some of this I still want to sell some of these guns and clothes to the traders up at the skyland so I'll get back to you guys when I successfully do that nope don't tip over man all right sell sell and sell, sell, there we go. We made a bit more money. No, Monsieur Helicopter, come back. Start the engine. Oh my goodness, that was close. All right, now I uh, watched a video on the key card locations because I didn't exactly know where they were at first. So for uh, the, I think it's, yeah, it's the purple and white key card. We have to go to the northern, northern and southern tunnels. So we'll get there. All right, let's check this place out. Now it's somewhere between like these crevices. Yep, look right here. The white key card. Grab that. Now let's head to. And now let's head to. Wait, now let's head to the southern tunnels. Actually, no. Before we head to the southern tunnels, let's head to the dorms because that's where the red key card is. For those of you that don't know. All right, so you go into this building, then you go to the second level. Well, second story and see right here this TV right uh, the TV is walking this way you just break it and you just crawl in between these spaces then you get up and then I think if you go to this room right here yep the red key card mission accomplished I hate breaking my freaking legs man now to head to these southern tunnels Alright, so right here, this is where the uh, yep, purple key card is by the uh, guitar case. Should probably reveal this thing. So the la our last key card, which is the blue key card, is I think found around the fisherman's grove. I'm pretty sure it's in one of the trash cans. It's that one right there. Hey, yep, look, blue key card. You can break the trash as well. Now we completed our quest, so that's pretty cool. First, I need to get our freaking helicopter out of the water so then I can talk to Rain Riot. Yes, we finally got it. Oh my goodness, let's get the freak out of here. All right, perfect. Mr. Rain Riot, we, we did it. Electric's quest, nice. Servant quest. Oh, the wanted posters all around. Plus, much experience in a ruby tablet. The, there's this one. Kill 150 zombies in the dorms or train station. Or we could do the Ghost Valley one. Successfully complete one horde beacon in Ghost Valley. For that, we'll get 100 experience and two antique artifacts. I think we should do this one because we can actually start the second one. Yep. Yep, complete one horde beacon. All right, so I'll head back to the house and and gear up for Ghost Valley. So see you then. Actually, wait before we. I didn't even mean to leave. Before we leave, I want to buy something. All right, let's see. The heat wave. It is a. It does. It, it looks like an LMG. 54 player damage, high caliber, and uses machine gun boxes. Successfully purchased one. Oh wow. Thanks a lot, man. You're definitely a lifesaver for giving me a not full magazine. I feel scammed. Do you have anything else? From other Elva videos, it said it's recommended to actually use the heat wave for it since it has it has higher damage. I will see you guys when I have everything ready for us to do the horde. So I'll be right back. All right, we're finally done farming for ammunition and stuff. I or I created the horde beacon a little bit uh, like 30, like a while ago, but. Like I figured, we just need a lot of bullets and stuff, so I went around. So I went mostly farming around Junction 67 for a lot of the for a lot of high and low caliber ammunition for our. Because I'm planning to use our the puck as our secondary, the uh, pog gun, 
is our primary and then when we see the boss dude we'll use the heat wave lmg oh yeah i also found another mesh so i could probably craft another filter and we can go sneaky down into the dead zone since we have all of uh, all the key cards all right now we can craft a respirator filter perfect uh, let's just bind that really quick so we can always remember all right i'll meet you guys at the dead zone All right, we're back at it again. Enter. We got our pug gun as well as five of these big magazines. So we should be fine on ammunition for this. We should start using up our filter pretty soon. Yep, look, 32%. All right, let's activate night vision. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna take a lot of health. So if we can, we should probably just whack the dudes since they don't, you know, explode all over the- explode or anything. Except the fiery boys. Make sure we're not missing anything, because we want to explore this as fast as we can. A drill. What is this? We'll look at it later, but for now we just need to speed run this area. Mushy, mushy, mushy. Ice cream truck sound. A six times scope, holographic sight, vertical grip, four, four times. I'm gonna try to pick up as much stuff as I probably can. We have a pretty decent inventory size. I just thought I heard someone use night vision. I am actually nervous right now. Yeah, there's no one down here. Impossible. Oh shoot, it gotta be kidding me. We're not gonna repeat the same story, right? I have the one of the worst attention spans. Oh shoot, our radiation. Okay, now we need to get out of here. We're gonna die. Go, 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 go. I really don't want to use this filter. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna survive. Might as well just end it all. All right, we're uh, back. Pick up everything. All right, let's try this again, probably. Now I saw that interesting purple crystal. So I was thinking we could probably mine. We could probably mine it and just take it with us, since we got this new drill. All right. Find this. Get all these great pink crystals. They're just spawning like candy. Like, that doesn't make sense. If we can get into that area over... Oh, come on. Grab the ammo. If we can just get... If we can just get to the blue key card door, then I think we might be able to be safe. Okay, it doesn't close. Thank goodness, man. A ski lark. It's a target range. Oh, what's this? Oh, the most... The, what is this gun? This gun's a legendary. Oh my goodness, not rebel. Look at that. We're, okay, this is probably this is where all the good loot is. Then we go to training range or target practice range. Uh, anything else? Or double down. Ooh, the pendiculator. Go to get out of here. We're at 30% right now, so. I probably should enable the night vision. Military radio. Come on. Okay, you know what? We need, we need, I think we're being a little bit too greedy. With the red key card. There's just so much to explore and so little time, man. A thick- there's so much thick- okay, you know what? The, okay, we're at 20%. We need to get going. Come on, I think we can make- I think we can make it. I'm pretty sure we can make it. Come on, regenerate your stamina. Faster, faster, faster. 4%, 3%. But we actually did it, and we actually got some good loot. Look at that. Oh, it's somewhat- and it's suppressed, kind of. That was definitely worth. If only we got the key cards in the first- if- in the first time we actually explored, we could have gotten all this. Alright, let's head home and prepare for the Horde Beacon. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry that's taking so long for preparations. I'm just a little bit nervous because it just- on the thing, it's- it shows a- it shows like a border and it says Horde Area. And it's also in a freaking Ghost Valley, like that did like- if that does not like bring chills up your spine, then- I don't know. All right, now we have our gun build. Oh, look at how tight that spread is. Look at that, look at that. So apparently the my hard drive f filled up to the max and it didn't record the session where I fought the horde beacon, which in turn made me a very a little bit, a little bit salty. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like I mean, I used a ton of resources and stuff for this horde beacon, and I don't have it on tape, so I had to spawn. So I'm gonna spawn one in. I'm not gonna take the loot. I just wanna show. I just wanna recreate just how somewhat difficult it is. So place that down. Which I'll be coming. So yeah, it just yeah. So like the thing <clears throat> didn't record and it just crashed and it's just annoying. <laughs> Wow, 
All right, we gotta run. Right, we need to make sure we don't step into these acid puddles. There's just so like, see, this is where what I find difficult. Like the other guys aren't like the other zombies aren't too like aren't too hard to deal with. Just the acid ones, since there's like so many, they will launch acid at you in all different directions. Also, uh, also, did I ever even say that the heat wave is kind of a uh, absolute shad of all LMGs? This thing is powerful. Look at that. Oh yeah, and I got to test out more of the uh, other weapons, like, oh gosh, not that, hold on, let's put down the heel, alright, alright, yeah, this pan, this pendicular later is ridiculous, here, let's get all these zombies in nice, oh, do you see that? All those hit marker sounds. It burns through shells really fast, but shells aren't too hard to find on elders, so that's good. We have no more ammo. We have no more ammo. Right. We use also the S also the SMG that we got from the underground is from. Oh gosh, we're bleeding. Anyways, I meant to say the SMG that we got from uh, episode 4 inside the dead zone is really good. Look at that. Barely any recoil and it just melts through all of them. Oh, I hear the big boy. Alright, trying to equip the LMG. Alright. Alright, we're... Just the acid is... Do you see that? That is a mega, and we completely just bodied him with this LMG. Right here. Oh my gosh, I hate the acid so much. Let's just pop a mushroom really quick to get rid of the radiation. Alright, where's our other gun? Oh my gosh. Alright, yeah, it's this, it's this gun. Yeah, this gun's also pretty good as well. Jeez, they okay. Yeah, we need to. Do we have to use our last heal? I think we do. I'm not risking going into those guys's. Need to make sure that we just. I think that's it. Nope. There's still a couple more. Hey, all the crawlers. We just use the heat wave for this. See, they can't even get close to us, man. Also, the horde beacon drops pretty good loot as well. It drops. Let's see what it dropped this time. All right, no, that, yeah, all those stuffs up there. Sometimes it went, it went through that mesh thing. But yeah, I can drop like things like, oh gosh, those big boxes. Oh come on, man, mesh. No, we're not taking it. We're not gonna. But at least we know where to find mesh. That's pretty good. High caliber ammunition box. Just look at all these guns. This thing, like, these horde beacons are worth doing. Like, even though they're somewhat expensive, they require components, they're worth. They're just worth it. And also, it's. And also, I would say the weapon of choice is definitely the heat wave. The heat wave is. A really good gun you might need like two or three boxes also try also bring the uh, also bring this gun the what's it called again the puck or the puck from the dead zone because amazing like amazing fire rate fitler it fits in your pistol or it fits in your secondary slot so you don't need to so you have like an extra weapon and it's I mean 
it's pretty it's pretty cheap to maintain it only needs like low caliber ammunition which is somewhat common to find anyway thank you guys for watching uh for watching if you did enjoy uh this video press the subscription button as well as the like button i'd appreciate that very much because this there's so much stuff happened in this video and it's just anyways thank you guys for watching and bye